and I am your candidate for the Supreme Court. I'm going to tell you something right now, how important this race is. Understand that right now in the Supreme Court, there are five Democratic seats and two Republican seats. You guys are smart enough that you got Judge Kevin Robson at the time and you got him onto the Supreme Court to hold on to this Republican seat. This seat is the one that's up, it's a Democratic seat. And if we don't win this seat in September, we will not see a majority in our Supreme Court for the next the rest of my lifetime. So that's how important this is. We've all seen what happened in 2015 when us as Republicans fell asleep at the wheel. We lost three seats. And you see the result of losing those three seats in our lifetime now. We just did. How many house seats did we lose? Uh, Act 77, we have no voter integrity. They just go on and on. The, the climate for businesses is not favorable. We have got to make a change in the Supreme Court. I am right now the president judge of Montgomery County, Pennsylvania, not too far from here. I sit on a board with 24 judges behind me. I was elected unanimously as the president judge by both Democratic and I actually more Democratic judges than Republican judges. And why that's relevant is because of the fact that in my county, everybody is Democratic. I'm stuck there. I'm the highest ranking Republican there is. I'm pretty much the only ranking Republican there is. And they all decided their judges voted for me, not because of my politics, but because I can get things done. And that's what I promised to you. I was a former federal prosecutor in the U.S. Attorney's Office for nine years, traveling throughout the country prosecuting drug cases. I was the first woman chief public defender in my county. I was the chief deputy solicitor representing 52 county departments. I bought real estate. I represented the health department. I was also the acting director of human resources for 3,700 county employees. I have been there. I've learned everything. I can deal with anybody after doing HR. If any of you are in HR, you know how that works. Uh, I'm going to tell you that I'm the only Supreme Court candidate that's running that has can serve a full term. I am the only Supreme Court running that has a highly recommended rating by the Judicial Evaluation Committee. I am the only candidate running that has never lost a race, and I am the only candidate.